Early one morning, Thomas was waiting at a station when Percy arrived, looking annoyed. What's got you all fired up? The fat controller has asked me to shunt trucks to the incline, as if I didn't have enough work to do already. I didn't know he had an incline. It's new, and there's new trucks to go with it. They're the worst ones I've ever met. They're bound to cause an accident sooner or later. And he puffed crossly away. Thomas couldn't worry about Percy for long. It was a lovely day. The countryside was peaceful, and Annie and Clarabelle sang as he puffed cheerfully down the line. But when Thomas reached the junction, Percy was nowhere to be seen. Maybe he does have too much work, he thought to himself. That evening, a tired and exhausted Percy backed into the shed. Busy day? asked Thomas. Percy could only manage a small yawn. Tell you what, how about I work at the coal yards tomorrow? That'd be nice, Thomas. But... But... Percy got no further. He'd already fallen asleep. When he woke up the next day, he found Thomas had already left. Where's he gone? To the coal yards, said Henry. But that's my job. You said he could go. Oh, this is bad. Why? What's the worst that could happen? The trucks don't know him. They're bound to try something. I'm afraid Percy was right. When the new truck saw Thomas, they began plotting their tricks. Oi, Gav! cried one. When are we getting the proper engine? That's enough of that! You shouldn't have done that, mate. I'll be quiet and get moving. He took them to the bottom of the incline to be sent up. Thomas stared in awe at the steepness of it. This was the chance the trucks needed. All set down here, they yelled at the workman. The workman started the winch, not realising that Thomas was still coupled at the back. Oh no, cried Thomas. His driver applied the brakes but his wheels just slipped on the rails. Higher and higher, called the trucks. driver then noticed a small siding. That's our exit! But how do we get there? At that moment the coupling between Thomas and the truck snapped and he began to roll backwards. After him! After him! cried the trucks and they surged against the cable holding them. On! On! Faster Thomas! Thomas screeched into the siding and a quick thinking workman changed the points. A little while later, Thomas heard a whistle at the bottom of the hill. It was Percy with the breakdown gang, and the fat controller. He spoke sternly to Thomas. While I appreciate you trying to help Percy, I'd much prefer if incidents like this could be avoided in future. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. It wasn't long before Thomas was back on level ground again. Thank you for helping, Thomas. Oh, it's alright. You should try going up there yourself sometime. It's a lovely view. Percy rather hoped he'd never have to.